Well, 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 look at this. In this episode, we are facing an opponent who had the entire collection complete. He has the day. Everyone's 99 in his lineup, <laughs> except for Jorge Postada. This was a really, really tough, hard fought game. You see over here, he's a level 100 diamond. I've had my creative player, Ricky Henderson, here. I'll tell you a little bit about that in, in a second, but let me just uh, continue with this. So, yeah, this guy had pretty much a 99 overall team. <laughs> he had the entire collection finished. He got the 99 Bob Feller on the mound. He has 99 Ted Williams. He's got 99 Brett Butler. He's got everybody. All right. Uh, this is also a World Series opponent from, he was in the World Series last year. His his bench consisted of like the 97 Paul Goldschmidt and the Eric Thames. And it was just absolutely insane to uh, play this guy. And this 99 Bob Feller is extremely, extremely difficult to hit, which makes sense. He's a 99 overall. But quickly, about my putting my Diamond Dynasty player in. I'm sick and tired of being beat by other people's Diamond Dynasty players, especially players that are in the World Series. So if that's the case, I'm going to bring mine out too. I, I don't like being cheesy with the Diamond Dynasty players, so I made Ricky Henderson, who only bats right and throws left. But um, I actually changed him after this game because I was like, you know what? If they're all going to do it and they're going <laughs> to beat me like that, I'm going to do the same thing. So I actually made a Mickey Mantle card, which you'll uh, be seeing soon. And this guy's able to get another hit, and I was really annoyed I wasn't able to throw him out here. At first base, sometimes they just don't do it in. Uh, they just don't do it fast enough. We got a Noah Syndergaard on the mound, who I haven't seen on the mound in a, in a little while, and um, I don't know. It seems early on in games. Sometimes I have trouble. Uh, <laughs> I realize this a lot too when I'm playing World Series opponents, especially when you're playing. You know, you have a really good like pitcher on the mound. They tend to contact swing a ton, and they get these dink dinky hits. All the damn time, and uh, as you can see, this is a uh, post patch 107. As you can see with the uh, buckshot uh, feedback over there. So this is a newer game. This is from a few days ago. I've been doing better online. I'm still only facing World Series opponents, which is really, uh, <laughs> really freaking annoying to be honest. We're in the division series right now. I believe we're seven and five, and that's the whole thing. There are some people that I know that um, that have better records than me right now, and they have a lower rating, and that's because they just haven't been paired up with World Series opponents. Uh, when you get paired up with uh, guys in the World Series in a higher level, you don't lose as many points if you lose against them. And uh, and also when you beat them, you get more points. So that's why even though I'm only 7-5, and five, I've only faced two guys that weren't in the uh, in the World Series so far, and I was able to beat both of those guys. So, I mean, that's what that that is. So I gotta say, I was very happy to get out of this inning with only giving up one run. That's one of those uh, things that the game could have been decided right there in the first inning. And this guy is just able to rip everything all right everything I, I really feel that they they did uh, it wasn't it wasn't a great pitch but I feel that they really um, didn't do a uh, cinder guard all the justice in the world he has 72 hits per nine which is ridiculous I was looking at his whip from last year and how many hits he gave up he really didn't give up that many hits all right his his whip, his whip was barely over one so it doesn't really make uh, much sense to me um, <laughs> it really doesn't so I, I don't really get it I think uh, he should definitely be reworked, but then again, he's he's hurt now, so they're not going to touch him until he comes back. So the, the, the Noah Syndergaard that we have now is probably the Syndergaard that we're going to have for the majority of the year since he has that uh, that lat tear, and he's not going to be back until the All-Star break. And my guess is they'll give him some time. And, ugh, I thought I, I got all this one, too. I was I feel like this is going to be one of those games. You square things up like perfectly, perfectly and it doesn't matter. You're just not going to be able to hit them out. It was a kind of a frustrating game, and he's able to go opposite field with 99 overall. That's right, you're going to hear that a lot in this game. 99 overall. Cal Ripken Jr., I wanted to like blow my brains out. I was like, what do I have to do here to win this game? What do I have to do to keep this guy off the board? And what do I need to do to actually... Uh, score some runs, because it seemed like I was squaring a lot of balls up in this game, and they just weren't falling my way. Um, San Diego's videos definitely has a rework hitting. They, pretty much I, what, I, what I feel what they're doing with this buckshot thing is just going to be a band-aid, and the band-aid just so it's like, oh no, before you just couldn't see, because they don't want you to see the colors anymore of the swings. That's really what this is. Let's not, uh, <laughs> let's not, uh, try to call it something that it, that it isn't. That's why they took the color away. So you just see, they're like, oh, now it's more accurately displayed here. I'm actually able to get a nice gift hit over here, able to get, uh, Two runners on here against this Bob Feller who's been uh, wrecking me. I mean, you can see we're pretty far through it here right now. And I was like, I wanted to take Syndergaard out, but honestly, I felt I was pitching pretty well with him. I digged up the home run to uh, Cal Ripken, but in the first inning, there really weren't too many hard hit balls against me. He was just kind of inside out contact swinging on crap. And I had to uh, start to figure out his guys. Except for this Griffey. This Griffey got a hit, I think, every time he came up. I could not get this 99 overall Griffey out, which makes sense. It's a 99 
overall Griffey, but I swear he just absolutely killed everything. If they, a lot of them were good pitches too, man. He was like killing things that were like off the plate and just he was just like ripping them in the gap. I can't wait to get that card. I don't know when the heck I am gonna be able to get that card. Probably not anytime soon. I don't have that uh, diamond thing all that you know that close to being done yet i know a lot of people have them I'm, I'm hoping i'll be able to get them within a few weeks and lindor's actually make a great catch here makes an awful throw but i managed to get really really lucky here and freddie freeman's able to gun him down at the plate i did not think i was gonna be able to get him i was actually shocked absolutely shocked when he was uh called out and th these plays i drop a lot and whenever i run straight to it so i tried to back off and i but hey, i almost dropped it again but uh, I was able to <laughs> actually uh, hold on there. And this was actually not a contact swing. This was a normal swing that I got jammed. And I was like, you know what? Normally I would call those cheap hits. But you know what? He's got a few cheap hits. So whatever. If he's going to get a few, I'll take a I'll take a cheap hit as well. And then we have Freddie Freeman here just doing what Freddie does. Freddie was uh, been slumping for me for a while. But he came up pretty big in this game. Not, not going to lie. David's been slumping for me a little bit as, as well. And Nelson Cruz is able to smash one in. And I actually sent the runner here, and the computer actually sent me back, which turns out it looked like it was a, a good idea because I probably would have been gunned out. And I got Murphy here, so I had I had a decision to make right now. So uh, I said, if he's going to bring in a lefty, am I going to bring in Ian Kinsler? And he brings in this 95 overall Billy Wagner, which is a monster. And I was like, all right, we're going to bring in uh, Kinsler. I was actually thinking, like, who should I bring in Turner? Turner's not as good as against lefties, and Kinsler isn't that great against lefties either. He's at 70-72. Or 70-71, something like that. And I was like, you know what, let me just bring him in. I got nothing to lose here. He's a, he's a better defensive player than, than D. Murph anyway. So I was like, you know what, we're just going to go with Ian Kinsler here and, and see what we can do. Maybe Kinsler can be lucky, give me a two-out knock. You know, drive in a couple of runs here. That one never even looked like a strike. And I think he gives me another ball right over here. Yep, one more ball. And I was like, all right, I'm just going to sit on a fastball here. Fastball over the plate. Maybe he, uh, he leaves one out over the plate. And he absolutely does. And Ian Kinsler... Crushes that ball for a grand salami to give me a two-run lead. And just like that, the tables have turned in this game. I go down from being down two to being up two. And I felt I needed more runs than that because although I've held this guy down pretty much since the uh, I know, third inning, I think Ripken hit the uh, home run. He hasn't done much since then. I, I'm still never, uh, you know, never too sure. And then I think I make a pretty good pitch here. At least I hit my spots. And although I hit my spots, I guess... No, Syndergaard 78 or 80 something control didn't matter and it somehow clipped the uh, <laughs> the strike zone and of course he takes it out and at that point I was like right I can't I can't go on with Cindy anymore because um, he's already lost his quality start at this point oh wait no we're up by one so he didn't already lose a quality start but I just I just did not feel comfortable throwing Syndergaard out there anymore I felt like he was gonna hit him and then he's got this Eric Thames he brings in here like I said um, and this Eric Thames card is just a monster, monster card. I, I, I did not want to play the stubs to get it. I don't think it's worth the amount of stubs that you have to pay to get it. That's why I actually sold my Aaron Judge like that from the pack, that 20k pack. I mean, I sold them for a, a ton, though. I sold them for like uh, 89,000, though. So I think that was a uh, pretty good investment. I got the uh, <laughs> I got the, the better of the, the deal, especially since I don't really care for this. Dame's card all that much anyway. Don't get me wrong, it's a great card, but I have Freddie Freeman, so since I have Freddie Freeman, it's not that that big of a deal. I thought I actually got him on the foot there. That would have been a <laughs> that would have been a nice one. He's got his uh, create a player here who I just felt that this, that he was hitting me better from the right side this game, and also Batances I felt gave me the best chance just to uh, get an out right now. So I figured I'd bring in Batances here, and I'm trying to get this guy to chase. Pretty good eye. This guy was just, and then I didn't get this call, and at that point, I was like, oh, great, this is awesome. I don't, and I did not want to face Griffey, but I also didn't want to give his creative player, who's better than Griffey, um, you know, with the equipment that he's wearing, anything really good to hit. So, <laughs> I threw that pitch, and I was like, ugh, I got, I got a little nervous here, so I throw this uh, inside. I miss my spot. He rockets one the other way. I'm able to make the, uh, the catch, and I was like, woo, woo. Like, I did not think that was going to go uh, go my way. And Lindor is able to hit an get another. Oh, this is Lindor. Who the hell was this? 45 speed. I don't even remember who this was now at this point. <laughs> 45 speed. I don't even remember. Who the heck did I have there? Oh, that was that was Ken Griffey Jr. That's right. I'm trying to. Uh, I pat him in the lineup because I want to try to unlock the 92 breakout uh, Griffey Jr. right here. And Dickerson just misses a home run here. I am able to lay out a double, though. But I really did want this insurance run. But we do have the top of our lineup coming up right now. We have Ricky Henderson. 
And uh, this would be a good spot for Ricky to, to come in as I just got underneath that ball. And I, of course I hit a, <laughs> like a, a Baltimore, well not quite a Baltimore drop, but a chopper, a hard hit chopper to third base. And he actually, this was an interesting move. He decided to walk Lindor because he's a lefty for David Wright, who has not have, had a good game thus far, but is also a better hitter, even from, the, you know, against the righties than Lindor is. So I thought that was interesting. He actually throws me a really good pitch here. I contact swing, <laughs> and I hit a slow roller, and David just has enough speed to be able to beat out the double play, and we're able to score a run, and then I I just pop it up with, uh, who's that, Alex Gordon, I believe? It was Alex Gordon. It wasn't Freddie Freeman. I think it's at number four. So I wasn't able to uh, capitalize. No, it had to be Freeman. I wasn't able to capitalize on uh, to get another run in there, which is unfortunate. But we do have a two-run lead at this point. I'm just hoping that will be able to, to be enough. As we got uh, Glenn Perkins. No this, is, is that, no, this is Zach Britton I have in here. Zach Britton, I have not pitched well with Zach Britton at all. I have like a six ERA with him. He's been one of the worst pitchers I've got. I have since I've, I've put him in. I just have to learn how to pitch with him as I, <laughs> I make a mistake up in the zone. I actually don't think it was that bad of a pitch, though. Let's see if we could... Uh, if I think it was actually inside, too. No, it was not. It was not a good pitch at all. <laughs> it was right over the middle of the plate. I missed my spot. You know, those things happen sometimes. At, but I was like, you know what, he, I'm going to go after Griffey, though. Griffey does not hit lefties great. I think he only has 70, con although he does have a ton of power against lefties. He does not have much contact against them. So I figured I would go with it and see what the uh, next inning brings. And here, finally, Ricky Henderson is finally able to rocket me a base hit into right field. I wasn't so sure if I was late on that or not. Looked late. I think I was late on that one. Just late, possibly. No, late, late in, I in Iraq. I don't know, this game is weird. I, I feel I get rewarded more on just late swings than I do on, <laughs> on like, good timing, centered swings. I don't know, it, it's just, it's just really weird. That, like I said, that was a, that was late, not, and that was late, not, uh, not just late. But I do hit and run here. Um, really, I, I thought I was going to get thrown out. But we do bring in a Roldis Chapman right here. And, and I know a lot of people saying they don't like a Roldis Chapman. They, they prefer um, Zach Britton over Chapman. Chapman has been absolute money for me. Chapman is under a 2 ERA for me. It's like a 1.67 ERA or something like that. Uh, I tend to do very well with him. Britton is the one I have not figured out how to pitch with him yet. But uh, this is a really, really uh, tough situation here. He's, I'm facing the meat of his lawyer, and I bring, well, he brings in Andre Dawson off the bench at this point, who uh, hits one really, really hard, but right at my uh, outfielder here, and who uh, Alex Gordon, who actually replaced um, Nelson Cruz. And the last guy we need to get here is, I believe it's Cal Ripken, yeah. Cal Ripken, who has already hit a home run in this game. We just needed to, to get him out. I did have my bullpen ready, just in case. Just in case, but I was really like, you know, <laughs> I want to scream at this point. But we could get an easy ground ball, and that is the game, guys. Beat this World Series opponent. Do me a favor, guys, if you enjoyed this commentary, please leave a like, some comments, and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll catch you all soon. Later.